Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. No, no matrix, no simping, All Subjects channel. I got a lot of stuff coming today. Hopefully, YouTube will be fair and, you know, don't blame the algorithm like Adam blame Eve, you know, and just let these ride, you know. And y'all hit the like button when you watch it. You know, it helped me a lot, man. It helped uh, prove that that algorithm talk is an excuse. On this first video, I want to talk about, I want to talk about something. Now, this one going to be short. You know how guys call women B-I-T-C-H's? I think we should stop calling them that. Like, I don't really do it, but I think people should stop calling them that. Here's why. Because when I think back, I never had a female dog. I always had male dogs. But when I think back at the people who had female dogs, like my grandmother, my aunties, I think it made me think we shouldn't be calling them that because a domesticated female dog would be one of the most loyal animals on the planet. So I think a lot of them don't even deserve that title, man, because they're not loyal. Like they, we already proved yesterday or the day before that by definition, most women are prostitutes. They're talking about they want a high value man. They're going to open up for him. It says a prostitute is one who engages in sexual activities for monetary gain. So what's a gold digger then? I mean, that's, I proved that. And I'll go back to that if y'all need me to. But I think we should start calling non-unicorn women witches you know how witches cast spells what do you think they doing how many guys won't leave a uncooperative unsubmissive ain't gonna never get better she don't get worse with age non-sexual women how many guys won't even leave these type Will Smith look at Will Smith Look at all the different celebrities and look at the people you know. Oh, man, I'm just going to work it out. You ain't working nothing, though. You're going to work what out? Your sauce yourself? Sleeping in different rooms. All kind of stuff going on in the modern day marriage. But we give them the title that is fitting for the most loyal domesticated animal. Am I saying racist? No. Because guess what? This is all across the board. And you could run all the way across the world. It's probably going to be even worse. The worst person is a gaslighter. That's the person that'll rob you the quickest. So... From now on, you're going to hear me using that title. When I need something extreme, I'm going to say witches. And we're going to talk about a lot of things today. We're going to talk about how, by definition, marriage is slavery. When you look at the components of marriage and what will happen if it goes wrong, so on and so forth. See, we might have got out of the, the little roots type slavery, but they created different new slaveries. That you can't blame Europeans. You got to look right smack dab at the devil. You can't blame them Europeans. If anything, it's funneling through them, but they ain't the ones that's causing it. The idea didn't start with them. 
The devil been breaking up families since the beginning of mankind. And the only reason why Adam probably stayed with Eve is because the Most High probably told him to. But legend has it that he was married before that to Lilith. Now, I don't know if that's mis inaccurate. I don't know if Lilith is really symbolic for the Most High's wife himself. But it, it, you know, it's been going on since the beginning of time. And you got women that they swear in their own mind. They'll think they're religious, but the devil will be really working on them. That's how you know. Any woman that quits on her man that won't let her man raise his kids. What's that, man? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Let's be genuine here. What's that? Who is behind that? The most high ain't behind that. But this is what they do. And they'll try to get the kids. You will be you and them will be having y'all issues and they'll be uh showing kids like the, the harsh things that you say to get the kids to be on their side. Cause they childish. They're childish. And again, not all, just most. It's not a lot of good ones out there. I don't care what y'all say. It's, it's just not, man. It's not. Like, most of them, the minute you become masculine, the minute you stand on your square, and the minute you try to lead, and you make demands and stuff like that, you're going to see. Because I always remember, a lemon. You don't know a lemon has juice in it until you squeeze it. The shell looks all uh, yellow and beautiful. But when you squeeze it, that sour juice comes out. So stop calling them that, man. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. No matrix, no thinking a woman is going to fulfill you in any way other than you get a little S.E. actual relief. And maybe if you got a unicorn, you'll get more. But most of them, they watching all these shows. They just they think their job is to challenge you. Like like some of us. Who would want? Okay, let me, let me, I'm, I ain't gonna go deep off in it. I done had beefs with dudes. I done had like what they call ops going back and forth, seeing each other, this happening, that happening. Who would want that from a person you gotta feed and you gotta pay bills for and you gotta do this you and you gotta protect? That's like when a woman turns against her man. And you have to protect them. That's like protecting your enemy. Like th think of that person that you just didn't get along with. A wayward wife, that's like protecting him. That's like the person that, that was jumping on you or fighting you or, or talking about your mama and stuff when y'all was young. And you jump in this fight to help that's what it's like. Anyway, thanks for watching.